I think for James right now, he's going through a same, the same exact thing. He's he's dealing with loss, and uh, that's not a type of loss where you give it time and you're like, all right, I've moved on, I'm good. Um, those tears will be with him the rest of his life. They'll dictate uh, his relationship with his own kids, and I think it'll continue uh, to probably help him. I saw he posted about him now. He has he has a, a son to look after, and uh, the things that his dad bestowed on him, I'm sure I'm sure he'll be. Uh, eager and fired up to pass on to his next generation. So I think for all of us, um, you don't get a chance to compartmentalize when loss hits so close to home. Uh, you just have to pick those tears up and bring them along with you to work, uh, to everywhere you go. And uh, sometimes that can be motivation. Sometimes it's going to be rough days. And I think that's a unique thing for us. Um, when you're in this building, you have a group of men, uh, and there's women here too, but a group of people that are all moving in the same direction that want the best for you. And you have people that you can lean on and that you can ask to be there for you. And I think that's the most important thing is that as teammates and friends and brothers, we have to continue to be there for one another uh, to lift each other up. And if you don't mind, just a, a quick follow-up. There have been a lot of tributes that uh, we've read about uh, James's dad uh, and his mentorship and his influence on youth in his community. Uh, James, has seemingly carried on that legacy in his own way in his career. What can you say about uh, his his father's son in that respect? Oh, man. Um, since I've got here, man, James is a, a tremendous person. He's a guy uh, who's very quiet at first, and then you get a chance to know him, uh, a guy that I've shared a, a ton of laughs with, um, a guy that is just – he's the type of guy I remember talking to McDaniels about him and wondering why you never see James get yelled at ever. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball. And I remember he said, James is the type of guy where you tell him something on the first day of training camp, and by the time you get to the Super Bowl, that same note you gave him, uh, he remembers it and he's executing it out on the field. And I think that just uh, is attributed to uh, the consistency uh, he has as a person, uh, the way he, uh, he, he connects with the rest of the running back room um, and the rest of the offense. He's a guy who's a captain. He's a leader here uh, on our football team. And he's a guy that we a lot look to uh, for leadership, for guidance, uh, and whatever we're all going through. So um, I, I hurt for him, and I know a lot of guys in this locker room feel the same way, and um, we're going to try to do whatever we can uh, for him and to be there for him through uh, this loss.